watching an LBL review. Cheers. Uh -huh. Next star, we're going to What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a ruthless review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everybody, be sure to like, comment, and share. I knew Ruthless was coming back today. I logged on the BET Plus. I was only expecting to see one video, but Tyler gave us a three pack. He did. And guess what? It wasn't no mid. It wasn't no mid. You feel me? Listen, I'm going to do all three um, reactions and one video because they kind of, you know, they flow together very well. So, anywho, we find out that Oliver really did kill Lilo. That pissed me off to my soul because I was hoping and praying that Oliver was dreaming like he wanted to, but he didn't. But he did kill Lilo. He chopped him up. He put him in a wheelbarrow and he put some wood or some chopped wood on top of him. Now, see, you know, I'm going to make this a little quick. So, it kind of was interesting because, you know, after he did it, he started panicking. And I, 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 and I get it. I get it. I get it. And so, um, he goes back to the compound. He tries to act like nothing happened. Um, Brother Clark runs into him. You know, he I can tell something wrong with you, Oliver. What's going on? And Oliver like, man, I'm good. And so, you know, Brother Clark already knows something wrong with him. So, anywho, um, Oliver goes back. And later in the episode, the highest tells William, which is his little fuck boy, to... Um, go get some firewood for, you know what I'm saying, the night when they get they nasty on it. So, William, he goes out, he get he, he sees the wood in the, in the wheelbarrow and he get that. So, <sighs> luckily, Oliver came. Oliver was like, man, William, take your ass on somewhere. Go get you some motherfucking wood by hand and, and take it there then. And so, William did. But it was a good thing that Oliver was able to stop him because I just kept saying to myself, he gonna get caught this episode. He ain't get caught in that episode, but I was just saying he gonna get caught. So, Oliver is like, man, I gotta get rid of this body. Woo de woo de woo de woo. So, dumb motherfucker, dumb ass, that's what I'm gonna call him. You in the woods. Um, I don't know what the hell he was thinking of doing with him, but you in the woods. If you don't go throw them motherfuckers over there in the bush at them buzzards and deer and Whatever else other animals, you know what I'm saying? Eat his ass up. He brings the body through the compound. Now, as he bringing the body, the wood, you know, it's in the wheelbarrow. He bring it through the compound. Daikon sees him and stops him and he talks to him. And Daikon asks him, is Lilo still there? And long story short, Daikon kind of give him a little information that none of us likes Lilo, but he's very important to what we do in the raccoon. And so, Daikon tells Oliver to go to the front gate and go out the gate. He need him on duty, right? So, Daikon didn't fuck with the wheelbarrow. But I was like, well, damn, Daikon, you see the man was doing something. I don't you finish doing it. Daikon just don't work. He just, he just be worried about the highest in roof. So, Oliver goes to the front gate. I'm going to speed all three of these up, episodes. He, he keep looking back. He keep looking back. Clark is like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, that got your attention. Is it that broad? Like, what's going on? And he's, I'm focused. Yada, 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 yada. So, Clark, he gets called um, to go see Daikon. Daikon tell him to come here, and I'll get on that a little bit later. I'm just finishing this Oliver story. So, Andrew, he pulls up. You know, uh, Andrew done got the whole situation with his wife fixed. We'll talk about that too. And so Oliver tell the two other guards at the gate, you know, take a break, take five. And <coughs> pardon me. He tells Andrew, brother, I fucked up. I need your help, brother. Andrew, like, what, 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 what's going on? Talk to me, boy. And that's, they always say, boy, a lot in this show. I don't know how much I like that. But anywho. He went ahead and tell, told Andrew that 
He chopped Lilo head off. He he got pissed off. He was talking about you know what he was doing with his woman and da 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 da. Andrew don't know Lilo. Andrew like who Lilo? Talk to me, boy. Talk to me, son. Slow down. Tell me what's gonna happen. So Oliver tells Andrew, I, he he's cut up in the wheelbarrow. I left it by the back fence. William had it. Da 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 da. da. So Andrew was like, you know what? I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna look for this shit for ten minutes. After that, I'm, I'm done. I ain't even back in good with the highest or daikon, and I'm trying to help your pussy ass out. So Andrew go inside the compound. He sees William with the wheelbarrow again. Williams. He asks William what he doing with the wheelbarrow. Williams say, I got to get strong so I can. Fight off the government when they come in. And then he tells William, like, man, it's other ways. Whoop the whoop. Yeah, yeah. I can, you know, whatever, whatever. So William, I got to be stronger than the highest. And Andrew, like, what you mean? William was like, he raped me every night. Andrew was like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. He say, I'll teach you something better, but you got to promise me to never tell nobody what you just told me ever again. Now, William went into details, but I ain't gonna do all that. He, you know, so he shows William a little move to, you know, he said he gonna teach it to him or whatever. So Andrew, he gets the wheelbarrow. He sees that old boy in there cut up. So he go back to the front gate. He tells, uh, Oliver, like, they got to figure out a way and they get the chopped up body in Lilo car and drive the car off, um, you know, that night. And that's the only plan he got. So, that's the mission with that. So, Oliver, count your motherfucking days. And let me tell you why. Oliver ran into Lacey. He pulled Lacey into the shed. Now, Lacey was the one raped by Lilo's constituents, constituents or whatever, right? And so, we find out that Lilo's a powerful man. Not only is he, you know, the financial guru for the Raku. He's a senator's son. Then we find out the men that raped this young lady are all senators. And so he tell this dumbass girl that he killed him. He chopped his head off. You ain't never got to worry about him again. Because she said he can have me whenever and however he want to. And Oliver, like, I promise he can't. I done killed the nigga. And so she get mad. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. What? Wait one motherfucking minute. I ain't finna kill a goddamn soul for a woman who ain't gonna be grateful. You got me all the way, man. Oliver, boy, you got to know before you kill, boy. Yo, my God. I was like, what's wrong with this broad? So, she end up telling this nigga, if he don't let her go, she gonna scream. I just killed for you, Trick. What are you talking about? Lord, I was pissed off. Oh my God, I was pissed off. So anyways, Andrew. So this episode, Andrew, Mac, his wife, uh, Sarah, they stage the murder. They take the photos to make it look real. Like she got shot in the head and yada, yada, yada. So after, you know, they took the photo, she gets up and she asks Mac, What's next? And he tells her, I can't talk to you until you clean up all the fake blood and stuff off your face. Now, see, so she heads upstairs. So it pissed me off. She ain't saying to Andrew. Help her. We done caught you cheating. I don't give a fuck if you trying to get by me. Now, you, you better be begging at every chance that you get. Like, wait, wait, wait. I mean, I'm just, what is you doing? So she go upstairs. Andrew pretty much, you know, wraps it up with Mac like, hey, make sure the news got it, the internet sites, yada, yada, yada. So Andrew lead the head back to the, to the compound. In comes Malcolm. Malcolm telling Mac, you know, Mac like, why are you still here? I told you this is my house. You know, I love her and da, 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 da. And so Mac was like, no, we, no, 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 stop talking. She coming with me. We're going to keep her in protective custody, yada, yada, yada. And he was like, nah, she want to stay with me. And so he begs Mac into letting him talk to Sarah. And Mac old puss ass, what kind of boss is it? To myself, the only reason why I'm leaving and going to let it happen is because I don't want to hear what y'all talking about. I have to put it in a report. 
Now you tell me what kind of puss ass boss is that? So he goes upstairs to talk to Sarah. Long story short, he said he pissed off, but he really loves Sarah. He pissed off at Sarah because Sarah is still in love with Andrew. Well, goddamn it, motherfucker, I couldn't tell it. When y'all got through taking them pictures, she ain't say a word to Andrew. She just let him leave. She went upstairs to go clean up. She ain't say, nothing. Andrew, will you stay so I can talk to you, please? Y'all know the Tyler Perry lines. She ain't say none of that. Have for the streets. So, anywho, Andrew head back to the compound. He do the favor for Oliver. Then he goes to see Daikon. Daikon sees him. He tells, he gets on one knee and tells Daikon it's done. And so he shows Daikon the picture and Daikon embraces him with a hug and tell him he knew he can trust him. The heights is going to be so happy. He even gave him a little kiss. And so they go see Tyrone. Tyrone happy to see him. And you know, they tell Tyrone, 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 like, oh, I know you can do it, yada, yada, yada. Man, look here, man. Andrew, you better take these, these, these sap suckers down ASAP. I'm sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of it. So, anyways, moving on. Let's talk about Ruth this episode. Well, these episodes. So, Ruth and, the, and Tyrone, they did it. Now, Tyrone, she, she was able to get him the nut. She was able to get his gay ass a nut. And so after he nut, he told her to get out of there. And he started crying. So she putting on her little white, you know, you know, little white, you know what they call little, the, 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 the you know, little white blouse. I don't know the name of it. She putting that shit on. She see this motherfucker crying. She go over there and what's wrong and hugging. And he tells her to leave. And she tells him, awesome, everybody else don't see you, but I see you. And he like, tell me what you see. And she said some bullshit. And so he opens up and tell me something. Was I good? And she tell me something. It was everything that I thought it would be your highest. So that mean I wasn't good. You damn right it mean you wasn't good. God damn it. So then he opened. Who knows if this is true? I don't give a damn. It's a TV show. It's entertainment. And I don't like his ass. He talking about some. His mama used to make him do sexual things to her and she told him that he wasn't no good so that's why he liked men and so she gave him a little compliment to myself well you know it was one of the biggest I've ever had and he gonna smile and she going on and so Ruth leaves right so she feel like she in there so she goes and see Tat well she goes back to the room Tat asking where she was she lies and Tat said well, what happened between you and the highest you was in there a long time and she lies again. Now, she also ran into River on her way out. And River was like, how did it go? River already knows she done broke him off some of that, you know, you know, that good stuff. So, she tells River, I didn't know everything. We didn't have a sit-down conversation. You tell me everything. And so, that's their agreement. So, staying with Ruth, um, later in the episode, um, Joan, she comes, Ruth, Tally, and a couple other the heifers. They washing dishes. The elder mothers leave to go look for Lilo. Joan comes and tells them about the plan that they have to escape. Ruth tells Tally, let's go. We ain't a part of this. They don't get themselves killed. Which I feel like she was right. And so Ruth and Tally, they go back to their room. After they find out that the elder mother's going to break them up. Um, the mentor of the other girl. So they go back to their trailer. And Ruth tell Tally that she slept with the highest and he a crazy freak, yada, yada, yada. She got a bigger plan and this bitch had the nerve. This bitch had the nerve to tell Ruth she don't trust her. She playing with dangerous fire fucking Tyrone and Daikon that she gonna find her own way out. But you gonna go and suck Yancey dick. Okay, hold up. Let me hold, let me hold on. So she goes to father tell Ruth, I don't fucking with you no more. Glad I'm moving out. You know what I'm saying? She talking about some. What the hell for said? Come on, some, you know, you all about yourself and power. I seen it before. You don't care about me, Tamilia, or Cali. Ruth hit her with that squat. She slapped her. Tally slapped her bite. I wanted Ruth to beat that bitch ass, dog. Oh, my God. Like, I, we been looking at you for your dumb ass this whole time. Tally, your pussy ass would have been there if it wasn't for Ruth. Moving on. So... Tally, she got her little bitch ass plan. She gonna go see Yancey. I forget exactly what it was. Yancey want her to suck that dick 
or either he wanted someone that cooler. Nevertheless, she going to give it to him on the bus. Andrew see him. That's how the show go off. Well, back to Ruth. So, Ruth, you know, Ruth kind of, I don't know why she's so happy. Why she like to save this hoe? You've been saving this broad for too long, and so it, it, it pissed me off. It pissed me. I'm getting mad thinking about it, y'all. So, anyways, we move on to River and Joan. So, these three episodes, we also find out that Joan is really in on the scandal. She and River are working hand in hand, creating shell companies to steal all the money that Lilo and his partners got coming through there, and they're going to disappear. I hope they do. I really do hope they do. So, um, you know, that's pretty much, you know, with River and John, other than the, the, the scenes where Daikon is admitting to, um, Tyrone how jealous he is of him and River's relationship and Tyrone tells Daikon, he's what you could never be. He appreciates the finer things in life. You like comics and comedy movies. Like, he basically assaulted Daikon, puss ass, but he ain't see it that way because he a simp. But, nevertheless, it is what it is. And also, this episode, I forgot Ruth mentioned, Daikon pulls Ruth into his trailer and he was like, why you do this to me? Have you changed from the girl on the internet? And she pretty much tell this nut that she pregnant with his baby and he gonna be a great father. The baby gonna look just like him. So, I don't know what to say about Daikon, Looney Tune ass. Um, and so that's it. So as far as the elder mothers in these three episodes, um, we all know that Clark told Daikon about elder mother Marvel coming on to him. Daikon went and asked her about it and she said that's a lie. She gonna tell the highest and on him flirting with the girls or, or whatever. And so long story short, I was kind of pissed off because Oliver could have co-signed it, but, you know, he let Daikon do what Daikon do, so that was that, um, so he's looking for Lilo this episode, and Agnes tell Lilo that his stomach was fucked up all night, and, uh, Marvel was like, it shouldn't have been all night, I know I did a good job, but it shouldn't have been that long, um, but yeah, that was that, uh, moving on, we almost finished, y'all, I promise, so Brian and the chef, uh, going back to the chef station, because, the chef is afraid to go up to the raccoon and ask them the hard questions. He don't want to do his job because he ain't on it. He ain't on it. So when it was Brian called Mac, tell Mac, we, we, you know, we could have a problem here, et cetera, et cetera. And so that was that as far as that go. And then Brian and his, his crazy ass wife, Lynn, he calling her. She sent him the voicemail. He goes home. He telling her he love her. And she tells him that she wants a divorce because he's so perfect and he only sees her for what he want her to be and not for who she is. And he goes and she tells this nigga that she fucked Malcolm. And I'm just saying to myself, bro, you, you do all this begging. You look bad. Like, I ain't got time for it. Like, just let that trick go and be Wanda from Snowfall. And she want to be a crackhead. Let her go be a crackhead, bro. You can't save these hoes. You can't. So, that pissed me off. Also, this episode, Daikon discovered the hole in the fence that the crew was using to get away. He go and tell Clark, here's the hole. Let him get a head start. Kill all of them, but make sure it's far away from the compound. The way it can't trace back to us. Um, Zane and Paula... Paula want to escape. Zane tells her not. Now it's the first attempt. Wait. Um, but Paula hell bent on escaping, but she didn't. I guess she's going to stay a little while longer with Zane. But if I'm not mistaken, that is pretty much what happened in all three episodes. I mean, if I missed out something, y'all let me know. I feel like I got the most important things out there. But um, yeah, we got three packs from Tyler. It was a good episode. I'll see y'all next week with episode four review. If you're new, subscribe. Everybody like, comment, and share. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey, appreciate you for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all of the other Arab Beer review videos.